Hello boys and girls, this is the Ask EM of this week and I've got loads of questions so let me go uh, into it straight away. Paul Campbell is saying, how do you feel about Atletico with Correa? Should he be seen as Atletico's main man in attack now or do they feel he's not quite at that level? The way that Correa has been used is an interesting one because of course he, he almost left in the, uh, in the summer. It didn't happen. He would have um, opened the doors to the arrival of Rodrigo Valencia when uh, Simeone let somebody leave, is that because he probably thinks he's taking everything out of him. But Correa reacted to it. That has been the story of his life, really. And what you've got is a player that actually feels part of what's happening. Uh, let's see, for instance, against Liverpool, he could easily be a starter. He's been used on the right-hand side. He's had something else. He's very proactive in the way he pressures. And he uh, has got that pace and craziness uh, that allows um, for things to happen. He is not always a starter because hardly anybody is, but certainly he had something that Simeone has liked, starting by the reaction to his own situation. Serge, uh, BB Boy Serge says, do you think Griezmann is disappointing and the club may want to get rid of him? One thing, he says, is scoring against the lower half of La Liga teams and the other is running around with pretty much no idea what to do and waste clear moments against better teams. Wow, that's harsh. Uh, I think he scored the first, uh, in 14 of the goals he scored, uh, 10 of them was the first goal of the, of, the, of, the, of the team. So he has got a hack for doing that kind of thing to be influential from that point of view, but you expect so much more from him. I don't see a happy player, I see a player that, uh, not so much that he doesn't know what to do, it's perhaps that he doesn't come natural to do the things that they are demanded of him, like, uh, get himself between the full back and the centre back, running behind all the time, add depth to the team that way and penetration. He does it for a while, but eventually he just wants to be part of what's happening. So will they want to get rid of him? Remember, and I think we deal on this a little bit later, but Barcelona won Neymar and they don't have the money. So yes, I think it will be a possibility of getting rid of Griezmann. And perhaps Griezmann will feel that that's the thing to do too. Uh, Emmanuel Akin says, what do you have to say about United's three wins out of four versus City this season? I can see you want to ignore this since City are presently on a decline. Oh, I'm not ignoring it. What does that mean? If I'm not ignoring it, but you say I am. Anyway, uh, City are the best team in the Premier League in between the boxes, in the way they build from the back, in the way they link each other, in the solutions that they find to problems, in the way how to, to adjust to games. But, as it happened in the first season of Pep Guardiola, they become weaker in both boxes. If you take Matip, Van Dijk and um, Robertson, 90% of the games of this season, Liverpool wouldn't be the Liverpool that we've seen. That's the problem that City have suffered. But also, it feels like there is a decompression from the side, a little bit like they've given so much uh, that they relaxed after winning a lot. Remember the target for Pep Guardiola when he arrived to City. It wasn't to win the Champions League. It was to dominate the domestic competitions, and he's doing that. Uh, obviously, they're not going to win the Premier League this season. They'll aim to do it next season. But look at the other domestic competitions they're participating in, and even the Premier League with the two wins. But also the idea was to get as a semi-finalist of the Champions League regularly and that has not happened. So if it doesn't happen this season, it will be seen as something to still improve on and one of, that's one of the reasons why he's going to stay after this summer. Uh, my understanding is that right now that's what's happening and let's see what happens at the end of next season, at the end of his contract, but he feels that uh, there is an improvement to be made to the side, which is down to bring in three or four new players that can go into the lineup and it get to the level in terms of finishing and defending uh, that they had last season and the season before. So Vrajit says, do you think Messi is carrying an injury or is it fatigue or is it just um, off form in front of the goal? By off form, I mean by his standards, of course. Yeah, his standards are very high. He's just been voted uh, by La Liga best player of February. Scored four goals in one game against Eva, but gave six assists in that period. So better than anybody else. But yeah, this is not the Messi that we're used to, and it's partly down to fatigue. Uh, there's no, he's not carrying injuries, otherwise why would he play every single game and why would he finish every single game? Uh, but there is, in my eyes, a fatigue that means that he decides to drop deeper and participate in the build-up, not so much just waiting for, and, you know, uh, near the box and then do the kind of thing that he's able to do. So we will see how you come out of that. You can only come out in his eyes by keep playing.
resting as well, resting well, but keep playing in what it is a very important part of the season for Barcelona, Mallorca next, and then Napoli. Uh, Peyo Smart says, uh, will Getafe let Bordalas go after the miracle that he has done this season? It was interesting that Bordalas did not get offers last season, having done already one miracle. He's continued with it. I know that the way he performs himself, publicly especially, suggests that he can go to a certain type of teams, perhaps Atletico Madrid at some point. He can go to the next level, and the agreement with the president is that he will let him go if the right offer arrives. I had an interview with him, which is out there in my timeline, in which he said he would look to go to the Premier League. I just feel that um, he needs to improve on his public persona, and I think people around him have told him that as well, to show that he is doing what he's doing at Getafe because he's got what he's got, but he's able to, um, uh, to give other type of performances and other type of public appearances as well in another club. We will see. What are the chances? Bernard James Gerald is saying that Barcelona will sign both Neymar and Lautaro Martinez in the Soma transfer window and is Barcelona interested in Upamecano concrete. Upamecano, top player, I was told about him two, uh, two years ago and he will be wanted by uh, many, many teams. Barcelona wants a centre-back, a midfielder, a winger perhaps and a striker. They, they're going for that next season, depending what happens with Braithwaite, of course. I don't think Lautaro Martinez and Neymar, they can come at the same time. They just don't have the finances. It's as simple as that, even though they'll try to get rid of eight or nine players in the summer yet again. So it won't be easy to get both, uh, perhaps even impossible, but Neymar is a priority. And that's why I'm saying uh, the departure perhaps of Griezmann and or Coutinho will help for the finances on that. Uh, Ilham Hussain, it's pretty simple, he says, well, Barcelona's coach is not using players in the preferred role, why he doesn't have control of them, his managerial period is going to cost Barcelona for a couple of years. It's not down to Kike Setien. I think Valverde knew what was happening and what he could do with the players, so use them where they could make a, uh, an influence. Kike Setien, it's not so much that he's not playing them in their position, I see Rakitic and the uh, Young and Arthur being played in the position. He decided to play after the four weeks 4-4-2, a 4-3-3 formation that required at least one player to run in behind, decided to go for Braithwaite instead of Ansu Fati. Did well for 20 minutes or so. Yes, it's not the position of Braithwaite, but he can add from that position as well, in the same as Villa in the past had done it, or Pedro as well. But uh, perhaps the problem is not so much of the position of the players, that he's got to try to aim for one way of playing and then grow from it. At the moment, Barcelona has got moments of brilliance, or good moments, and a lot of flat moments. And that's as much to do with changes of formation as to do with the form of the players. Klaus Hansen, who says, will Real Madrid sack Zidane at the end of the season? Real Madrid is about to enter a very interesting era in which Zidane can do a very big part. Uh, there were five players in the lineup against Betis that are 30 or over, and they need to go. Uh, you know, Modric, if I remember, Modric and Marcelo for sure, uh, Benzema as well, Cross. Uh, those are players that uh, are over 30. I can't remember who the other one was. Ah, oh, Sergio Ramos, of course. Sergio Ramos may renew his contract for one more year. Cross has renewed his contract. Benzema is the favourite of the, of the president. But the other two and others that were on the bench or were not, uh, in the team may actually have to go. And they've got players like Odegaard, who wants to stay an extra year at Real Sociedad, but they've got Ashraf Hakami, who's of course at uh, Borussia Dortmund. Um, Takekudo, I don't think he's actually ready to, uh, to come to Real Madrid, but he's in improving. Oscar Rodriguez scored a couple of goals with the Leganes and scored seven this season already. Perhaps not ready yet, but there are youngsters. Ceballos may come back to the side as well. Uh, there are youngsters that uh, need to improve and will do it in the side, like Rainier uh, and Vinicius and Rodrigo. There are others that can come as well. They've got 13 players on loan. And why Zidane will want to get away from it? There's still changes that have to be applied to this team. The departure of Vale is something that I think everybody wants, but an offer has to, be, uh, has to arrive. And then a new era starts for Real Madrid, so I think he'll, he'll stay. That's it for now. Uh, remember, we'll be back at the uh, beginning of next week. And I'll ask you Sunday, Monday, if you've got any more questions for me and ask Guillem. See you then.